shortly my friends called me Sid and uh, I'm basically from the eastern coast of India. I worked in Bangalore for say, nine years in various companies and my last company was Oracle and I moved to Shanghai uh, when my wife got an offer from here. I came here in August last year and settled her down and then I she referred me and I got a job here and I work with PwC as advisory manager and uh, I have my small family here in Shanghai settled in Pudong. That is that's my story. Is there something that you are very passionate about? I'm into photography a lot like I have done a lot of wildlife photography in India. So I love to do uh, birding. I mean I'm crazy about taking pictures of birds. I mean I am into Flickr and 500px and all that, my pictures are all there. So that is something that is interesting about me, I mean, outside of my work. How would you summarize like your experience with Shanghai in three sentences or just three bullet points? Shanghai is not China. I mean, Shanghai is where China is going to be. Shanghai is big, <laughs> the second thing. and. Uh, as a city, it offers you everything. I mean, it, you just have to choose. Starting from your living, your your weekends, uh, partying place, and everything. I mean, I, I, I fell in love with the city the first time I get down from the airport and saw the city. And I just fell in love in the, in the very instant. Third one would be, yes, opportunities. I mean, it offers... Uh, kind of opportunity to every kind of person. I've seen a lot of expats coming here with a different backgrounds and trying out their luck. So Shanghai, you can associate with opportunity in China, which is like, you don't expect expats to come here and get a job. So it's China. So it's opportunity is the third thing that I can say. Was there something like a culture shock to you? Not exactly, except the language. <laughs> The language is something that uh, that was obviously it's not easy for anybody who comes in from far east or far west. I, I don't think that it's a very different, basically because I'm from India. I mean, we are a very conservative family. I mean, we belong from a conservative society. But when you come to Shanghai and in a few days you get into that mode, Shanghai mode, and you, you, you start liking the place, liking the people. So that is my experience. I, mean, I, I really don't feel any cultural shock as such. What is it that you would say you like best about Shanghai and what do you like least? Shanghai is fast life, very fast life. So somehow you miss some personal time running around. So that is the minus I say. But the biggest plus about Shanghai is that's one of the safest places I have seen in my, in, in, in my life actually. So this is one of the best things I have about seen about Shanghai. Are there any times where you miss home? Yes, I do, I do, yes. Because we, we are foodie people, Indian people are foodie people and uh, I miss my food. I, I sometimes, I get my in-laws, get my parents here, so I try not to miss it much, much, much. I, I just keep it <laughs> so that it is, they come in sometimes, I don't miss my home. So. Watch the entire interview on What's It Like TV. Our interviewee shares personal experience about all aspects of living abroad. For example, what's it like to integrate and make friends? What's it like at work and in business? What's it like to live in the city? What's it like to bring a partner and kids? We have prepared for you hundreds of candid real-life accounts of expatriates who are actually there. It is almost as if you call them directly. So see you on What's It Like TV and get all your answers before you move.